All right, guys, what's up? My name's John Bechtel. Uh, welcome to the second edition of this little series I'm doing called On Set, which is a behind the scenes look at uh, kind of what I do as a filmmaker uh, on a relatively daily basis. Like I said in the last video, I'm probably just gonna upload my more exciting shoots uh, and kind of see how, see how these videos go. Uh, if anybody's interested in them, um, keep the series going as long as I feel like it's worth putting out there. So yesterday I did a little ad shoot with a ballet studio called Ballet Prestige. This is actually the official ballet school of the New York State Ballet, so it was pretty cool. I got to work with a lot of extremely talented ballet dancers. So this is a pretty new client relationship for Jake and I. Uh, Jake is the guy that I film with a lot over at Eco Media. We kind of handle all the video stuff there. So being a new client relationship, always a little bit stressful, slightly intimidating going into the shoot. You know, you always want to put your best foot forward and impress the client and hopefully get more work in the future. It's also uh, one of the first few times we've been working with uh, this local ad agency, DNC, who actually booked us the job. Not too high of a stress issue, because you know, we've done this stuff a million times, but definitely uh, had a lot of pressure on us to turn out a good product. And uh, looking back at the footage a little bit, I think we did a really, really great job. And I'm really happy with how uh, the filming all came out. I absolutely love filming action stuff. Uh, you know, I grew up filming BMX and a bunch of action sports. So it's really cool to shoot things with a high amount of movement, uh, awesome slow-mo stuff. Got to bust out the 120p and the a6300, which we don't always do. Just a kind of a cooler shoot than what we normally do with ads, uh, you know, like the typical interview thing. So yeah, like I said, awesome shoot, really fun. It was a great time. Uh, we actually showed up kind of overprepared. We had a bunch of lighting equipment and a bunch of audio equipment. It turns out our client uh, didn't exactly want to appear in front of the camera and felt more comfortable with actually having just a voiceover artist doing it. But we showed up overprepared, had lighting and audio equipment in case she did want to do an interview. So, you know, it's always better to show up way overprepared and not have to use the gear than show up with um, not enough stuff and not be able to complete a project. So, you know, as much as we lugged in a bunch of unnecessary gear, it's a better way to show up. Just I, I always like to show up over prepared rather than under prepared. I was running around a bunch in this shoot with the Ronin. It was kind of a little bit sweaty, but it was a good time. I tried to flow the camera with the way that the ballet dances were flowing, a lot of up and down movements. It, it was pretty fun. Yeah, like I said earlier, we met a lot of really, really talented and dedicated ballet artists. It's kind of a cool thing to see. I've never really gotten to see it up close before. I've obviously seen videos online and everything like that of ballet dancers and did a little bit of research on the ballet dancing so I can kind of get a feel for what I was shooting. Um, but it was totally different to see it in real life. First really cool thing I can say after this that I couldn't say before is I got to skateboard in a ballet studio between a bunch of ballet dancers. Um, like their legs flying in the air trying to dodge them with the Ronin. It was a super fun, super cool experience. You know, not many people can say that they like got to skateboard through a ballet studio. It was a pretty neat thing to do. Uh, like I've already said, I met and hung out with some really, really incredible people too. The ballet dancers I interacted with were all so unbelievably passionate about ballet and like so into creating elegant movements and um, just you can see it in their eyes, they're just unbelievably happy when they're dancing and a lot of really, really great energy to witness. It was, it was a cool thing to experience. Like the passion that they had just made me smile from ear to ear. And honestly, that's why I love filmmaking so much. So usually when I go out and make films, I'm only working with people who are extremely passionate about what they're doing. Otherwise, you know, they, they wouldn't want me to come out and make a film about it. They wouldn't want to showcase themselves doing something. So like whether it's BMX or somebody talking about uh, disability awareness, which I just worked with Yuko Media doing a film about. And you can check out a little behind the scenes of that on the last onset vlog uh, if you're interested in it. But yeah, like you're only surrounded with extremely passionate people and you get to witness people trying to showcase their passion every day. And it's just like really, really great energy and a great positive environment to be in. Only working with people doing things that they really, really love doing and doing something that I absolutely love doing myself. So on that note, uh, might as well end this video. Stay tuned for the next onset vlog. This weekend I'm going to Cleveland to film a video for my friend Jaden for a bike company that I rides for called Kink BMX. So stay tuned for that. Subscribe, hang around for onset vlog three. All right, later.